Or, I'm not hovering. <sighs> so, <laughs> my name is Zizzer, and I'm now going to go over the manifesto. Um, so, as developers, we're not afraid to nerf the game elements that are too powerful and are harming Path of Exile. Unfortunately, patch notes are not the best way to communicate these nerfs. Because their format and information density makes it hard to include sufficient explanation. In today's manifesto, we have highlighted and explained most of the significant nerfs in 3.1. Of course, there are plenty of buffs in 3.1 as well, but we'll leave those as pleasant surprises in tomorrow's patch notes. Don't know how I feel about this. <laughs> Valpad Keystone. Being able to leech instantly meant that many threats were completely mitigated by high damage, fast hitting characters with minimal leech investment. Lockpack has been changed to no longer grant instant leech, but instead doubles your character's leech rate and maximum leech rate. This was one of the most heavily requested nerfs in the history of Path of Exile. The keystone is still powerful, but now really benefits from heavy investment in leech. I love this. I'm in very much in favor of this. At zero security, a serious security has been changed to a grand val pact if you performed a critical strike recently, giving it a slightly different use when compared with the val pact keystone. It now fills a different role to its previous one and acts as a way for you to avoid some of the downsides of val pact. So I guess you still you don't get the regen or degen permanently, only when it's on. So decent for that. I I don't like this. I think acuity should have maybe had instant nature would be stronger than Valpact because I think it's a cool way to uh, have it as a chase item. But I, I can live with it. It's still it's still a good item. It's just not as good now. I feel like it's less of a chase item than it currently is in 3.0 right now. The Slayer, the Brutal Fervor Ascendancy skill, no longer grants maximum leaf trait. And Vitality Void now only grants plus 3 to maximum leaf leech rate from 5%. As a result of the changes to Valpact, other sources, sources of the leech were also examined. Brutal Fervor was identified as a problem, more so after the changes to Valpact, as it was the next closest thing to instant leech. We didn't want to change what made the Slayer the Slayer, but we were okay with it taking a small hit, giving its dominance over the 3.0.0 ladders. Okay, that's fair. Minor matter. The mana bonuses granted by the passive skill tree behind this keystone have been reduced. The mana granted was very high, especially at lower levels. The keystone is currently at a power level where further mana investment is still worthwhile. Yeah, I kind of agree with that. The fact that minor mana, minor matter, the nodes behind it were so powerful that you would take it as a guardian or you would take it completely regard like even a ci like oh i need mana well okay minor or matter like the nodes behind there are the best even if they like even if you don't even benefit from the keystone and you have it as a traveling node it was still so powerful so that's definitely a justifiable nerf um vulnerability despair and wither vulnerability is now a strength gem focused on physical damage bleed and maim despair is the new intelligence gem that will replace existing copies of vulnerability Reduces chaos resistance, increases damage over time taken, and also granted added chaos damage to hits against curse enemies. So they've split it into two gems. Wither now has a lower max stack limit, 15 down from 20. It was OP, that's fine. Slightly lower damage taken effect per stack. Wither increases the damage taken by enemies much more than was reasonable for an easily, yeah. We split some of its damage bonus off into the new Despair Curse, taking the opportunity to realign Vuln as a strength-based curse, as was more appropriate as a physical damage improving effect. All copies of Vuln will become Despair, so we'll have Despair on hit on our old gloves now. Which Firebrew now applies Despair. So, I'm guessing Despair has no physical component or initial hit component at all, then it's completely just degen. That's interesting. I don't really know how I feel about that. But, I mean, I'd rather have more curses anyway. That, that's... Uh, I'm okay with it. I think that's kind of cool. Dark Pact. Cost using your life no longer has a bonus radius. And the damage bonus has been reduced from 95% more damage with hits and ailments when using your life to 76% more damage. Own life spending Dark Pact builds for dealing too much damage over too large an area, grinding on already very defensive builds very high clear spills. 
Calaris beats. We don't want that. We don't want that. I didn't really like Dark Fact anyway, but I can see a lot of people not being happy with this. So, I mean, I don't know. It just felt like self cast Discharge with no downside of having charges. So, oh, 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 what have I been saying? Oh man, I haven't, I haven't looked at what it says yet. But what have I been saying about Varus? This better be a nerf because I've been saying Varus is totally, totally getting nerfed. There's no way Varus isn't getting nerfed. If this isn't a nerf, I will be surprised. Especially the enchantment. Barrage no longer has the additional projectile enhancements available in Mercy's Labyrinth. The equivalent endgame Labyrinth enchantment now grants plus one. Why is it still doing that though? Plus one additional Barrage projectile down from two. Also, oh, the Merce doesn't have it at all. Existing, existing helmet enchants are unmodified. Wow. I wish I had one. That is kind of. Wow. Oh my god, that's going to be so expensive. The additional projectile made this skill and enchantment the superior choice for bow wonders. We want to ensure that there are several viable options for these characters. So now there are zero. No, I'm just kidding. I'm sure they've done something. Doomflesh and Doomflesh Prism now adds 100% of physical as a random element down from 110. It no longer has increased critical strike chance and instead has 12 to. Hmm. Okay. What did it have? Did it have fist damage before? Now adds 100%. Down from 110, and none is inherited here. Right, okay. Some of the high yeah, I mean, especially with the new jewels. Especially with the new jewels coming. Like, it was insane. Oh. I'm okay with this. I'm okay with it. Queen of the Forest now has 200 to 240% evasion rating. Down from 240 to 380. The movement speed bonus this item can provide has been capped at 100% for all versions? But why though? That's the- Stop putting caps on things! It's the dumbest, simplest way to like nerf things. This is Choir of the Storm all over again. Make it harder to scale. Don't put a cap on it. Hard caps is so fucking... Oh, I hate hard caps. Barely anyone's gonna go over 100% anyway, so it doesn't affect that many people. I just don't like hard caps. Like, the fact that you could go over 100% is cool. Make it harder to scale. Don't go like, oh, you can't get past this wall. I hate that. I hate hard caps. No hard caps. Free! Anyway, changes to evasion base types. Both push the evasion rating of this item too high and take the movement speed of this. Extreme. We never intended for a single item to be able to provide so much movement speed. No, that's fair, but it's still no defenses and it's... Free. As more movement speed innovation became available, this has become unreasonable. The movement speed players were retaining was not something that the game was designed to handle. This cap is unlikely to affect the average use of the item. Didn't stop to think if they could, to think if they should. Anyway. Rise of the Phoenix. Maximum fire resistance granted has been reduced to 5% from 8. Life regeneration has been increased to 15 to 20 per second from 6. New versions also grant 40 to 60 life. This cannot be divined. This item granted too much maximum fire resistance. More than any other shield... Why would we not just use Saffle's frame now? More than any other shield provided. This made it far too easy. Righteous fire character. But why aren't we just using Why aren't we just using Saffles now? Why why use Rise of the Phoenix? At all. Right? Am I not seeing something here? It seems like a bad version of Saffles now. Do you want Max All Res? Or do you want Max Fire Res and nothing else? Anyway, others. Unless Saffles gets nerfed. But still. Experience changes for high level characters. Each level, the race to 100 is over more quickly than the previous one, that race that they don't hype up at all, as players become more efficient and the experience available gets larger. We receive overwhelming feedback, including from top racers. Who though? That this process should be made longer. Who? Who are these people? Gucci, is it? Have you done this? Is this you? Because that's the only people I can think of that I haven't asked, is Gucci and Steel. Other than that, I've asked pretty much everyone. Who is this? Who are these people? Is this you, Gucci? In 3.1, this takes the form of a small additional experience penalty at level 95 to 99. 6.5% needed. 
fine. 11.5 needed. 18.7. 28% more. And 40% more 99-100. They didn't ask me! I don't know who they asked! They must ask people who are barely ever in the race. Midpoint to level 100 is now level 99. It's ridiculous. Who are they asking? Has, has, like, has someone messaged them like, um, hey, hey, Chris Wilson, I'm, um, I'm a top racer. I want a, I want a demigod in Endless Ledge. And, um, I mean, I haven't gone above 94 myself. But I don't like how fast the race to level 100 is. And I'm like, I'm like a top racer. Because I won a dummy and another sledge. And I'm, I'm just like... I don't really like how fast the race is over. So like, you should consider making it longer. Who the fuck are these people? What the fuck? I don't mind, it's a good thing for me. I am like the marathon runner. This is a great thing for me. But the... People are gonna die. It's a good thing for me. I mean, personally, I'm like, yay! Even better chances for me. Nobody else is gonna bother. But like, I don't like that it like fucks over everyone else. And somebody said like, well, somebody posted this on Twitter. Well, I believe that like, you can still get 100 by pushing 8 to 10 hours and sleeping a lot. Yeah, but you can't get first 100 doing that! You know why? Because I won't let you! I'm gonna be no lifing the shit out of it! There's nobody that's gonna come on with like 8 to 10 efficient hours and gonna go like, Oh, racing for first 100 by the way! No! Because I'm not gonna sleep! Just have daily XP caps and you can pay for a potion to remove them. <gasps> so crazy. What I don't get is there's been so many people complaining that you already have to completely no life it. And like right now you could at least take like three days off plus the weekend and you have a chance at first hundred if you know what you're doing. This fucks over everyone who wants to do that. Now it's going to be like one nine days to level hundred. They effectively nerfed your competition in races? Yeah! They did! Non-extreme racers were never gonna win that race anyway, so it doesn't matter. There are several people that are competing in like, either the SSF 100 or the Trading 100 that don't normally have time to play a lot. They take time off to do this. Who are these top racers? I mean, I got buffed. Good thing for me. Uh. What if this is the top racer asking for nerfs? No, because I don't want the game to be balanced around me. I don't want the race to be balanced around people like me. Now, there is one thing. There is one thing that I didn't mention. And that is that they have increased the density. So these numbers might not be as bad as we think. There might be the fact that there's going to be, if they have increased it back to like 2.4, 2.6 levels of 40% pack size, they've increased the density by a lot, especially in clunkier maps, then it might be okay. Getting to 100 was, is way too easy. And how many hundreds do you have, Arscat? How many hundreds do you have to be saying that? Because if you don't have any, don't talk about it. I hate all these people who are like, I've had a level 89 character and it offends me how hard it is for other people to get level 100. This. Ah, oh, Tomberry with the mass. We can do, wow, that's bright. DLDR, based on this, we should now. This means a level 9. Okay, what? what for now. 
Yeah, your hair fire. No, it's okay. This isn't a huge deal to the streamers and grinders that were already doing the level 100 pushes. 23% more time is not significant. Oh, not insignificant. 23%. The only people this really punishes are those who burn out when they get into the 95-98 range. EXACTLY! That's why I don't want it! It doesn't... Stop balancing after people like me! That's not how you do games! You find the middle base between the hardcore players, even the upper echelon... Echelon? Upper tier? I don't know. Of the average players. You don't balance after casual players. You don't balance after high tier players. I saw so many posts of people saying they got level 98 and got burned out, and now they're never gonna do 100. So weird. Instead of 4 days, it's gonna be 5. Or be like 6. <sighs> especially, 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 especially in SSF, it's gonna be like 9 to 11 days now. Fucking another chase unit. Yeah, I I was against the... I knew that was gonna happen. I was hoping they would keep it. After he's being changed. Shape now. Freshman. So now you will have even less competition in the first hundred. Must be fun. No, that's why I'm against these changes. I'm not a fan of these changes. Or surely. Can you change what excites you the most? Barrage, Dark Pact. I like the Vuln and Despair. I like the Minor Matter. Their one's fair. I'm so excited about the Vuln Pact change. So apparently it was Noogie. Interview with Noogie. We had this last patch. He said, last time Noogie said that he didn't think it mattered that casual players can't get level 100 and he wants it to be an exclusive thing. We already talked about this on stream. Yeah, I would want Sexton's nerfed as well. Don't know what that means, silly. And Noogie's not usually in the level 100 race. Like, he doesn't push that hard for it. A lot of leagues, he doesn't do it. Like, he did it in turmoil with us. I can't think of many other races where he's pushed for first level 100. He usually just plays the game hard in general. He doesn't usually push for first level 100s. I wouldn't Dominica. The Vafak gets relocated at series might. There'll be a chase unique for casters, maybe. Can you link the music play? It's just fire crackly music. <sighs> hey, Jamsa, thank you for the Zist Oliama thing. So, that's... I guess we'll, we'll end my... We'll find other things to discuss, but that's pretty much all I have to say about the Path of Nerfs manifesto. Yes. We'll discussing it more out over the day as well. Hopefully you guys enjoyed my thoughts on the path of nurse. Thanks for watching. Try to die less than Valpac does.